Hello. Today, I want to talk about subject-verb agreement and some irregularities with subject-verb agreement. That means some times where you have some unexpected things with subject-verb agreement. Let's get started. First, we'll look at countries. Some countries end in S, but they're singular. For example, the United States. It has the S, so you think it's plural, but it, the United States is treated like it, or singular, so the verb would be is, the singular form of the verb. The same thing with the Philippines. The Philippines is an island nation. The United Arab Emirates is a nice place to visit. The Netherlands has a lot of rainy days. So this is present simple, so we use S for has instead of have. And also the Maldives or the Maldives, I'll put S with the verb because that is a singular noun, so it takes the singular form of the verb with present simple. The noun news. It looks plural because it has an S, but we treat it as a non-count noun. So we would say the news is really bad, or that bad news makes me sad. In both situations, I use the singular form of the verb because news is a non-count noun. There are certain fields of study that end in I-C-S. Those fields are singular. For example, mathematics makes my head hurt, or mathematics is difficult. Physics is easy for some people, and physics starts at 8 o'clock. In all of those situations, those fields of study take the singular form of the verb. The, those nouns are singular. Statistics is a little bit different. For statistics, I have um, the field of study is singular, so statistics is an interesting subject. But if I'm just talking about a group of numbers, then that can be plural. The statistics in that article are wrong. Illnesses that end in S are usually singular. For example, diabetes is common in the U.S. Measles has become less common. Rabies is common in some animals. Shingles is a terrible disease. And mumps became rare when vaccinations were introduced. All of these illnesses are singular, so they take the singular form of the verb. Time expressions. For certain time expressions, we're talking about an amount of time rather than individual pieces of time. For example, eight hours is enough sleep for me. In this situation, eight hours, I just mean that one amount of time so that is singular. Three minutes is a long time to hold your breath. In this case, singular because I mean the amount of time, three minutes. Eight hours of driving makes me tired. Here it's just an amount of time makes me tired. So all of those situations will, are singular, so they take the singular form of the verb. Money expressions. $10 is too much to pay for a bag of chips. $10, I mean just an amount of money, not 10 individual dollars. 50 cents covers the cost of a phone call. Here, 50 cents is singular, so I use covers with the S on the verb. Let's talk about some plural nouns that do not end in S, 
So maybe you would think they're singular, but they are plural. For example, people. Those people are green. People doesn't end in S, but it is plural. The police are coming. The police is plural. If you want to talk about one police, you could say the policeman, the policewoman, or the police officer. That would be singular. But if you just say the police, that would be plural. Cattle eat a lot of grass. Cattle means a group of cows, so that would be plural, even though it doesn't have an S. So cattle eat a lot of grass. If I want to talk about one, I would say a cow eats a lot of grass. The fish are biting. Fish can be singular or plural. I can say I caught a fish or I caught three fish. So if you say the fish are biting, that means someone is catching a lot of fish. Languages and people. For languages, it's singular. English is easy to learn, but if I put the in front of it, then I'm talking about the English people. For example, the English people drink a lot of beer. The English drink a lot of beer. This expression means the English people. Let's look at another example. French is fun to learn. This is the language. It's singular. The French drink a lot of wine. This is talking about the French people in general, so that is plural. Sometimes we take an adjective and we use it as a noun. For example, poor people need help. The poor need help. This expression, the poor, just means poor people in general, and it's plural. So it would be need, not needs with an S. Here's another example, rich. Rich people often have big houses. The rich often have big houses. The second sentence, the rich, is, means the rich people, and that expression is plural. So today, we've talked about subject-verb agreement and some irregular subject-verb agreement uh, examples. I hope this helps you understand a little bit better, and have a great day.